He's not cognitively fit uh, to do his job. Uh, and uh, I think that, you know, when, he, when the president got up the other day and, and tried to speak to the nation, he just reiterated and reinforced the idea that uh, we are in trouble in this country right now from a leadership standpoint that's not in the best interest of this country. So I just want to let everybody know that we are going to continue to make this an issue. Well, that is the former White House doctor, Congressman Ronnie Jackson, pulling no punches on Republicans' plans. As you know, continuously polling has shown it's a concern, and it's resonating with voters in a deep way. The latest one, showing 78 percent say the president is too old for another term. Worse, 71 percent of Democrats say the same. Democrats said to be worried privately, but many are still defending him publicly. What I know who I'm going to choose is going to be the, one of the most successful presidents in, in modern American history. His mental acuity is great. It's fine. It's as good as it's been over the years. President Biden, who I've been around uh, numerous times just in this last year, is sharp. He's focused. He's bright. This is a man who is sharp, who is on top of his game, who knows what's going on. He's smart. He's on his game. Sharp and on his game. Fox White House correspondent Peter Ducey, who is definitely sharp and on his game. Peter. I hope so, Harris. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, officials here are apparently don't see much of an upside to submitting President Biden to a cognitive exam because they are telling us that will not be part of his upcoming physical. Obviously, on his physical, uh, which is the president proves every day how he operates how he thinks, right? But by dealing with world leaders, by making really difficult decisions on behalf of the, the American people, whether it's domestic, whether it's national security. And so he shows it every day on how he thinks, how he operates. Uh, and so that is how, uh, that is how the Dr. O'Connor sees it, and that's how I'm gonna leave it. So that's that, but House Republicans are planning to make the president's acuity a centerpiece of this electoral season, pushing ahead for that special counsel transcript that apparently identified memory lapses. And Axios is reporting sources close to House GOP leaders are blunt that they don't think it even matters what they find. These sources think that any fight will make the White House look bad and keep a huge Biden vulnerability in the headlines. Aides here are also trying to keep President Biden on script. They have apparently also decided that letting him routinely off script, off script does not help them. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Before we begin, I'm going to make this statement, let it stand on its own. I'm not going to take any questions, but I'll be taking questions tomorrow and the next day. So that would be today or tomorrow. Nothing on schedule yet. Harris. Peter, thank you very much. T.W. Shannon, former Speaker of the Oklahoma House of Representatives, Patrick Murphy, former Pennsylvania Congressman and Undersecretary of the Army, formerly as well. Gentlemen, great to see you. T.W. Shannon, the strategy of focusing right where so many voters, independents, Democrats, uh, uh, just every every voter that has been surveyed has weighed in on yeah. this one way or the other. Is that the strategy for Republicans, and will it work? Well, the strategy of the Democrats, Harris, let's talk about that. That strategy is Operation Gaslight the American People. Don't believe your lying eyes. I mean, listen, 81% of Americans see what's happening, but I think it's time for us to go a step further. Not only do we need to stop just having a conversation and you know, sending around cute memes about the president's health, it's time for Congress to act. We should subpoena every single uh, Biden administration official that deals with the president daily. We know what they're saying publicly, but I'm interested in what are they saying privately in their emails? What are they saying about the president's health? Let's get them under oath. Let's talk about this issue. This isn't a matter of partisan politics. This is a matter of national security. Joe Biden is in crisis, and that means America is in crisis, and Congress needs to act on it. All right, I'm going to move to this. House Republicans are demanding the release of the interview transcript between special counsel Robert Herr and President Biden. The leaders of three powerful House committees have given Attorney General Merrick Garland until Monday to respond to their request. Congressman Jim Jordan, who chairs the House Judiciary Committee, said this. We want the information Robert Herr has, and they can't hide. The White House and the Justice Department can't hide behind the fact that, oh, it's an ongoing investigation. The investigation's over. We have a 300-some page report from uh, Special Counsel Herr. We want those transcripts. We want that information. We want, we want the, the video footage. We want all that information as we go about doing our work. Patrick, your response. 
Uh, listen, I, I'm all about transparency, and, and sunshine is a great disinfectant in government. So mm -hmm. I think that the transcripts will be released. I think they have to redact probably some of the classified parts of it on Harris, but uh, absolutely, I think that that should and will happen. Uh, can I just mention something? The speaker, you know, TW, with all the respect, you just said subpoena every cabinet member on their daily schedule. I mean, I thought we all believed in limited government here. I mean, come on. Well, what, let, let's be clear, Patrick. What we believe in is the Constitution, and the Constitution allows when there's an issue with the president's cognitive ability for the 25th Amendment to be invoked. And since that discussion is happening, by the way, it was Nancy Pelosi who first started it back in 2019 that started that discussion uh, concerning Donald Trump. What we ought to be doing is every member that has a problem with the president's health or has a vote on the 25th Amendment, we should see what they're saying privately because 81% hmm. of Americans see that there's a problem. Well, uh, if Axios does as good a job as it did with talking with people behind the scenes of the White House and, and getting the infighting and so on and so forth, maybe they can get the behind the scenes <laughs> on Capitol Hill, too, <laughs> yeah. and tell us what the, you know, what the people are saying behind the scenes. More than half of Americans are telling us right up front, though, they believe President Biden got special treatment after prosecutors decided they would not pursue criminal charges for his handling of classified documents. That includes 29% of Democrats. Patrick. Listen, I, Joe Biden and Mike Pence, the former vice president, both complied and both gave the DOJ all the access they wanted, they needed, they complied with everything they said. If we made a mistake, we want to make sure that you're on top of it. All right. Unlike, let, let me just interject for one second, because I, yeah. I, I know that you go there first and you like to parry, cherry pick and compare this person to that. But did you see the pictures that were in the Hur report? Now, yes. I, I don't know what Mike Pence's house looks like, but but if they look like that, I think we would have seen them because they were almost, oh, I don't know, politically salacious. Right. The way that the president had laid those out next to the Corvette. I mean, some were in tatters and tears and all of that. And you can talk about comparing him to others, but can we just stick to Joe Biden for one second and what your eyes actually saw? Right. And my eyes saw reading the report shows that he's complying with the DOJ. And I'm not making excuses, Harris. You've heard me say I believe in the rule of law. And I'm a former federal prosecutor. So that's one thing. And just like Mike Pence, because they complied, because it was a mistake, they put that unlike former President Donald Trump. And you can't say it's apples and oranges. This is apples and dump trucks. President Trump or former President Trump so didn't comply. In fact, they had to go show up, and he said, "I want. I don't want you to touch my boxes. I don't want you to look at my files. Jo They're classified jo documents." Go ahead, TW. That, that that is intellectually disingenuous. The president absolutely complied. He wasn't charged with being in contempt of court. That's not what he was charged with. In fact, if you look at what we're seeing now, you said you believe in the rule of law. Then what you shouldn't believe in is a two-tier justice system, which is exactly what this appears to be with Donald Trump. He was charged for it. Joe Biden wasn't. And I've been to Mar-a-Lago. Mar if you want to compare pictures and photographs, I've been behind the walled uh, um, interior of Mar-a-Lago and how secure that place is. You know, Joe Biden's Corvette, that's not the most secure place in America for classified documents. It's a two-tier justice system. The American people know it, and you know it, too. All right, I do, we'll and move. that's why Gentlemen, we can have a thank two you. different... Yep, I'm sorry. Yep. No, 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 no worries. We'll bring you back. I appreciate you both. Great debate. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.